Welcome to your one. Now move on to the physical properties of amines. Physical properties of amines. Basically, friends, we know already uh, in uh, the remaining organic chapters. The physical property of amines. The first one is simple. Lower aliphatic amines are gases. Amines are available in gas as well as liquid and solid form. But lower form up to carbon number three means. One, two, three, sir. They are available as a gas. It means methyl amine and ethyl amine are the gases. They are in fishy water. And after this, C three amine also, propyl amine amines. They are available in liquid. And by increasing in carbon number, they are available as a solid. I repeat, lower aliphatic amines are gases like methyl amine and ethyl amines. They are having a fishy water. And propyl amine amines, I mean C three, propyl amine amines, they are available as a liquid, and increasing in carbon, they are acting as a solid form. It means the conclusion, amines are available in all three forms: solid, liquid, and gas. Now come to the second one. Here, the lower aliphatic amines are soluble in water. It means, maklum, aliphatic amines are soluble in water. Lower aliphatic amines, and because of that. Easy to form an hydrogen bonding. Why they are soluble? Due to the formation of hydrogen bonding, especially intermolecular hydrogen bonding. I repeat, lower aliphatic amines are soluble in water due to the formation of intermolecular hydrogen bonding. And now come to the third one. So carefully, in the syllabus is the boiling point. What happens the boiling point of amines? The boiling point of amines. I think all of you know boiling point and melting point, which depend upon the molecular mass. As the molecular mass increases, boiling point or melting point gradually increases. Similarly, here the boiling point of amines will completely depend upon the molecular mass. As the molecular mass increases, boiling point increases. Maklum, the input will be as amines are three types: primary amine, secondary amine, and tertiary amine. Yes. Among these, primary amine boiling point is greater than the secondary and then the tertiary because primary can easy to form intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding, the molecular size enhances or increases. Due to increase in molecular size, the boiling point increases. These three are very important physical properties of amines. We keep practicing of at least these three, as which is helpful for the physical property in your. Theory. And after this physical properties, now move on to the our chapter is chemical properties. Yes, so what happens in chemical properties of the amines? It's a very important part of our syllabus is chemical properties of amines. Yes, what are the chemical properties we know in the amine chapter? Yes, there is one by one we started. In the syllabus, by using first nitrous acid, what happens? Amines react with nitrous acid. Before start, we know friends, nitrous acid already know in the formation of BDC. Nitrous acid is a chemical composition of NaNO2 and HCl. NaNO2 means sodium nitrite. T I T E. Sodium nitrite, not a nitrate, nitrite. It reacts with HCl to form sodium chloride and HNO2. This HNO2 is called nitrous acid. Keep in your mind, what is nitrous acid? Nitrous acid is a formula of HNO2. This HNO2, how to form this is HNO2? You know. So what happens? This HNO2 is react with We start with one by one. First, aliphatic, aliphatic amines, especially aliphatic primary amines. We start the R N H two, or better we have considered R C H three N H two. Yes, this is primary amine aliphatic. What happens when this aliphatic amine is react with nitrous acid H N O? When it reacts with HNO2 to form the product, keep in your mind. Yes, this RCHNH2, this amine, the containing nitrogen is combined with this nitrogen. 
and this component is available as like this H N O two. And this component R H as it is, this is an O H is combined. This hydrogen is combined with this oxygen, and this nitrogen is combined with this nitrogen. You know, so here it is. The hydrogen here, the oxygen is being shared with it. Now it is as a water. Now it is. Nitrogen, nitrogen is being shared with it. Now it is as a nitrogen gas. Keep in your mind. What it remains? This H and O is combined with this. This R C H two. Now you get it. It is a primary. I repeat, friends. In primary amine reacted nitrous acid to form primary alcohol with releasing of nitrogen gas. This is your J. So many times they ask in J and Karnataka C T. Yes, what happens when aliphatic amine reacts with nitrous acid? Which gas is released? The gas is nitrogen. You consider with an example is a methyl C H three N H two is a methyl amine. Is react with nitrous acid H N O two. Yes, you can write as like this H N O O. This one form. We already know the hydrogen is combined with oxygen. Nitrogen is combined with nitrogen. So it is as an water and nitrogen gas. So what it means? C H three and only the compound is O H. And this is C H three O H. We know. This is methyl. This is the aliphatic amine reaction. I repeat once again, nitrous acid is a chemical composition of sodium nitrate and hydrochloric acid. The formula is HNO2. The nitrous acid, which helps to know the reaction with first aliphatic amines. If you consider aliphatic amines, the formation of the product must be alcohol. One more question: The formation of the product is alcohol. Keep in your mind. Yes, methyl amine, methyl alcohol. Consider ethyl amine, ethyl alcohol, propyl amine, and propyl alcohol. This is a simple reaction of aliphatic amine in the first chemical properties. After this aliphatic amine, you carry this reaction, same nitrous acid reaction in your aromatic amine stage. Now our target is aromatic. Yes, the aromatic. In aromatic amines, directly start with an example. This is quite familiar compound in our syllabus, aniline or benzene amine. And benzene amine is react with nitrous acid. Keep in your mind, this aniline react with nitrous. But this reaction is not happens because friends, the aromatic amine is not directly react. First, it is dissolves in hydrochloric acid. I repeat, aniline is dissolved in hydrochloric acid because the base is an acid. They can easily neutralize. They can easily soluble. Once it reacts with hydrochloric acid, then it starts reacting with nitrous acid at temperature zero to five degree Celsius. Temperature is zero to five degree Celsius. Yes, what happens when it reacts together? Yes, as our convenience, I repeat once again, get in. Sir, keep yourself. This nitrogen is combined with nitrogen and this is C. Yes, before that, this two hydrogens, three, and this is the fourth hydrogen. Two, three, fourth hydrogen means it is an release as an oxygen. As two oxygens, four hydrogen is removed as a water remains N, and this nitrogen and this is C. This benzene which attach N. And another N with an C. The name of this compound shortly B B C. Yes, benzene disonium. Benzene disonium for a B D C formation. Yes, which is aromatic amine. I repeat, an aromatic amine will undergoes react with nitrous acid at zero to five degrees Celsius to form benzene disonium chloride. So due to this. Concept. This reaction is called diazotization. What it means? Diazotization. Azo means n double bond here. This is azos. 
This reaction is called diazotization. So many times they ask the one mark, two mark question, explain the diazotization reaction or either how to form BDC or how to form benzene diazonium chloride. Your answer, an annealing react with nitrous acid in presence of HCl at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius to form benzene diazonium chloride. This is the today's first chemical property action with nitrous acid either aliphatic or aromatic. You keep, before to start this reaction nitrous acid is a formula of HNO2 but not to the HNO3. HNO3 means nitric acid, HNO2 means nitrous acid. This is a very important reagent which can formation of benzene diazonium chloride. Okay, yes. Keep practicing friends, we continue the remaining chemical properties in the next videos. Thank you.